today. Classic monster trucks return as some of the biggest and baddest monster trucks on the planet make their return and will battle it out on land and water. Featuring great action from the GasGuzzy.com 4x4 Off-Road Truck Show Challenge. We've got car crushing monster truck action, monster tanks, mud trucks, tough trucks and more. Today on Action Track, it's the resurgence of the monster trucks. Welcome once again to Action Tracks. I'm your host, Chris Parrish, and today we're in Auburn, Indiana for the 4x4 Off-Road Truck Show Challenge presented by GasGuzzy.com. We've brought in Ross Bonar, the host of TMB TV, to help us introduce the show because an event of this magnitude just can't be summed up by one person. Ross, tell us what you think's going on and what you think of the event. Well, it's great to be here on Action Tracks, Chris, and today is just one of those special days in monster trucks. You know, we've had a couple of them this year when we got to go to the Silver Dome and do a show there, which was absolutely incredible. But this, you know, especially for us younger guys, we were, you know, two, three years old whenever all this was first starting. But now to have a chance today for a nostalgia event like this and get a chance to see old school car crushing and even these monster trucks floating on a pond. We've got some of the most original monster trucks out there, Alan Pizzo's Predator, uh, the old Duraliner Giant now. Now, uh, Uncle Slam and uh, the great looking machine that Jeff Cook's put together, Shotgun Harry. And uh, you just you can't say enough about Jeff Cook getting together, putting his own money behind this event, and trying to do something truly special with monster trucks here in Auburn today. Jeff's really put together a, a, a full cornucopia of off road enthusiast uh, entertainment. We, we've got old school monster trucks. He's brought in the tanks. We've got a show and shine competition. We've got various classes of mud bogs, tough trucks. He's really got everything going on here. Well, he really does. And, and what a lot of the drivers have been talking about, especially Alan and Lenny with the Predator team, is, you know, back in the old days, this is what the 4x4 Jamborees used to feel like. You know, you had all the great things. If you had a truck, that was the place to be. And as you can see over there behind us, everyone with a truck in this area is here today because that's where it's happening at. I know Ross is looking forward to it. I'm certainly looking forward to it. And you better be looking forward to it because Action Tracks is coming up now. Welcome to the 4x4 Off-Road Truck Show Challenge presented by GasGuzzy.com. As you can see, we're closing out the opening ceremonies at the event. We're getting ready to get into some incredible action. We're going to go straight into mud bog action. Class 4, deep pit. This pit was just impossible. Jeff Cook and his Gas Guzzy guys really created a pit that just no one could conquer. An ultra tough pit. Everyone was throwing everything they got at it. And no one, no one was having any luck. Over the course of the day, the mud pit changed in texture and consistency, but it also developed a wall of mud directly in the center of the mud bog that further inhibited drivers from conquering this conquering this wicked mud pit at the truck show challenge. All manner of vehicles were allowed in the pit. There you see right there. It's a, it's a truck in some capacity, but virtually no body panels on that. But we also had stock looking vehicles like the Jeep you see here. And our, our final podium standing for Sean Cruz in this S10 made it into third place. This Thunderbird called Chicken Digger was our second place competitor. And number one was our first truck out, the 48 Chevy Trust Mike. What turned out to be a battle of distance in this mud bog competition goes in at 91 feet 11 inches. Trust Mike takes this one. We'll be waiting to see if anyone else throughout the day makes it to the later mud bog class. Now let's go ahead and get into some monster truck action, what everyone is here to see. Uncle Slam, formerly known as the historic Duraliner Giant coming out on the track for our first monster truck session of the day. Truly one of the original pieces. 
He's gonna come out and crush a set of four cars. You can see the glass shattering and the parts crunching. The Saturn on the end, mostly made of plastic on the outer panels, really creates a neat effect. Here you see our great new hazard pay cam built for us by Barton Motorsports. It's going to bring you some amazing angles today at the 4x4 Off-Road Truck Show Challenge. Uncle Slam, as we mentioned, the original Girl Liner Giant, an 87 Ford F350, powered by a 460 cubic inch Ford with 5 ton Rockwells and 20 ton Clark Planetaries. One of the truly historic monster trucks that has passed through the grasp of time. Rick Romanini, the driver out of Michigan, acquired this truck, none other than Chucky Pockins, an old Excalibur driver, now a Gravedigger driver, acquired this 2006 Chucky. Apparently Rick's got some plans, some big plans for the Uncle Slam truck looking to put the giant name back on the side, which would be just a great hit with all these old schoolers. Okay. Looks like that's going to be all for Ogo Slam, driven by Rick Romanini. Now you see the rear bed on the truck beginning to rise. This truck from a time when monster trucks weren't full-fledged race beasts. They were show trucks while they're at it. There you see the bed tilted, just spectacular. Now we're going to go ahead and get back into class one mud. This features the short pit, or the shallow pit if you will. The gas busy crew has really created some difficult mud pits in Auburn. In the shallow pit competition, it took a number of competitors before anybody really made progress in the pit. But finally you see here this two-toed Chevy truck work its way through the center of the pit. And once you made it through the center, the, the drift really increased and everyone began making it through the pit. There you see our third place, Jesse Otto. Steve Morris in second place with this beautiful 01 GMC pickup truck. This one really pained a lot of fans uh, because it was just such a beautiful truck. And he surprised everyone and made it through. But Cliff Rugg, number one for the day, blistered the pit in his Chevy truck. The gas Gasgazi event also featured a lot of great tough truck action. Everything from stock trucks out on the course to highly modified custom built buggies. We had a diverse range of competitors and it created an interesting day on a very tough GasGuzzy.com track. Probably the most unique aspect of the track is that to stop the clock, the drivers physically have to stop the vehicle on top of the final dirt bed. This big Chevy is known as Short Iron, a beautiful truck that the owner has been developing, building up. He started life as a daily driver for him, and he's decided to come out and show off at the Gas Guzzy event. Nearly all form of vehicle is allowed in the tough truck competition. As you see here, this truck has been stripped down to essentially the bare bones. Now this truck, driven by Chris Borger, uh, it's out of Illinois and was definitely the biggest truck on the tough truck track today. Just a huge Chevy crew cab. He's running 60 inch tires, so nearly monstrous proportion tires. Front and rear steering with a big block 454 engine. A little underpowered, but he had fun nonetheless. This was another awesome truck that came out for the tough truck competition. Running the great big tire and wheel combination. And once it turns towards the camera and heads back our way, it really starts to look like the awesome Kong monster truck, almost a combination of the skinny Chevy and the swamp buggy. Just a, a neat truck that came out. A lot of innovation goes into a lot of the tough trucks and the rock crawlers out traversing the, the rocks in the cabin. This truck has made its name through a number of off-road videos. The truck is an S10 Blazer. It has a rear engine, four-wheel steering, airbag suspension, and right there you can see some wicked rebound, almost able to pull a slap wheelie. A very sloppy suspension. You see the truck 
you really pull on the inside wheel. That really slowed it down in the truck competition, but really gathered a lot of attention from the crowd. This truck came in second place with S10 extended cab, airtime, Roger Knoll, Rear engine, a great suspension down the street that really absorbed the hits, but in the turn it really had a tendency to wall over and really cost the airtime owner a lot of time in the turns. This buggy was the champion in the Tough Truck competition, Tony Rettdorf. And as you can see straight down the first straightaway, you can see why he was a top competitor today and ended up taking the championship. A lot of speed all the way down the front straightaway, all the way down the back straightaway. The truck also cornered well, which is where he really probably gained an advantage on the competition. Clearly this buggy purpose built and put on a phenomenal show. Just head over heels over the competition. Rick Romanini will be bringing out our second monster truck event of the day with the live wire monster truck. Now this is a true old schooler. This truck started life as the polar bear monster truck. The truck runs a 468 cubic inch Chevy engine with a turbo 400 transmission, two and a half ton Rockwells. Now, Romanini bought this truck. It was in rough, rough shape. They've managed to restore it from the frame down. You can look at the Chevy truck's body and see that there are still some rough spots on the body. Still planning on coming back and working on a restoration of the body. So this live wire truck will really be a beautiful piece of equipment once they're done with it. Romanini really seems to be acquiring an array of monster truck, classic monster truck pieces. I'm sure we can count on a lot of great things from Rick in the future. You see Rick really creeping off the end of the cars in the live wire truck. That's because if you look really closely, the live wire truck actually has even less suspension than the average leaf sprung monster truck. Really creating a rough ride and a lot of impact when coming back down to the ground. Let's take a look back at the Barton Motorsports Hazard Pay Cam, bringing you multiple angles of this nostalgic event. You see Livewire working his way across the car set. You really get an emphasis for the noise and the destruction of these monster trucks crushing across these cars. Like Livewire has turned around and is heading back with the car set. He's gonna take another approach on the cars. More great hazard pay cam. Sounds like Romanini's having a little bit of trouble keeping the, the Livewire Chevy running today. Poking the head out the window to see the position of the truck. Let's take a look back. Just crawling its way back up on the cars, just like back in the day. This engine's trying to cut out on it. Looks like there may be some fuel delivery issues. Looks like Livewire is going to turn around and that may be all for the Livewire truck and Rick Romanini. Great hazard pay. Oh! Wow! Check out that vantage point. Rick Romanini nearly takes out the hazard pay cam. That was about as close as he could get without actually running over the camera. Romanini showing off going down the front stretch in front of the fans. We'll be back with more 4x4 Off-Road Truck Show Challenge.